So what I have here is um, some Myrmecocystis. I believe it's Mimicus. And this is a very mature colony. This uh, I've seen this colony have mating flights before. And there's a lot of workers. They constantly have a flow and bursts of uh, dozens of workers that leave the nest at a time. And as you can see here, they're widening the hole of their nest. And what that will help them do is get the get the males and young queens out, you know, in an orderly fashion. They usually, actually this particular colony, I've seen them dig as many as three tunnels around this centered, this centered one so they can release their mating flights a little more economically. Um, these are, this is the species I want to catch. I can't seem to find any queens with them. Every, it's been like three years I've been looking and I can't seem to find any. But these are, these are really active. These are really, really fast ants. Um, right now they're, they're in this mode. I don't know, it's, it's really strange. Usually they're really timid when they first come out. You know, and I'm getting right up to them and breathing on them and they're not reacting. It's more like they're in guard mode right now. And as you can see, they're just looking around and feeling around and smelling. Um, they're just checking out the, the environment around them. Uh, this is... Uh, this colony is probably going to have a mating flight. Uh, once, they get past, once they get to a certain stage, they have mating flights almost every year. I don't know how long it goes before they die out as a colony. There's a really large, large major worker right there. And um, if these are very territor territorial ants, they will they will battle um, other nests of the same species for territory. And they do a posture. They do like a like a raised leg posture where they get up on their on their tippy toes and they they compare each other's uh, size to the other workers. And uh, it's really weird. I, I, I've, I've seen some footage of it, but I've never really caught it. I've never really seen it happen. Um, I've seen pictures, but this is a very interesting species. This is a, in case you're not aware, it's a honeypot species. Um, these, these ants are uh, really, I would have to say, the epitome of a diurnal foraging ant. These guys will come out when it's 105 degrees and they don't care, you know, they'll, they'll forage in that type of weather. Direct sun, everything, you know, so that's why I'm kind of interested in getting these because they'll be active during the day and I can, I can observe them. Really interesting. And I just saw the head of a queen. Wow. Um, apparently, there are some elates in there. I don't know if you guys, if it caught it on the video, but I did see one poke its head out. I'll just let this sit here for a while. See what we see, alright? I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there's a worker ant on the very edge of the hole, chewing the hole away. He's picking at the sides, making it bigger. And they'll do that so they can get all their large, plump, young queens out the, out the door. So, it's pretty cool. I'm glad I, I'm glad I found this.